What's up guys, this is Forest Knight, hanging out with my friends here. And, and can't forget about, about this fella, or this guy back here. And today I want to talk about how I got an internship at NASA. Uh, I want to take a, you know, I want to take a step back and first talk about, let me get that sun right, but first take a step back and, and, and talk about my, my process leading into this. So basically it was about May, this past May of 2016, I was finishing off my, it may have been April, I, was, I don't know, I was finishing off my, my spring semester and I figured uh, I should probably get an internship because by now most everybody, if not everybody, already has an internship locked in. You know, they got it locked in months before I even thought about applying. So I, I knew I was a bit behind the curve and, you know, it's kind of un unfortunate circumstances. Just, you know, I was just kind of busy and I was busy trying to focus on my school. I'm getting, getting interrupted by the best thing, best possible thing to get interrupted by. A prop plane. This is this uh, Jurassic Jurassic World thing is uh, or Jurassic Park thing is at the front of an aviation museum, which is back there. If you can see that. But I started to apply for internships for the summer because I really didn't want to go back to landscaping. I really didn't want to go back to landscaping because I was I was in my junior year and. I wanted to get into the industry, so I applied to everywhere around my area, which is just all of Hampton Roads I applied to. I have applied to some places up in Richmond, Virginia, but mainly Norfolk, so like companies like Norfolk Southern, Norfolk Grumman, NASA, some local IT companies, and one local IT company my dad act, my dad's friend actually owns, so I got hooked up there. It was just a, it was just a, two, a free two-week internship that you know, I'm grateful for. I say just, but I'm very grateful for it because it was, you know, it was a good experience just doing uh, field engineer intern work and whatnot. And then after that, I still, you know, during that whole process, I was still trying to find an internship for me to have all summer long that paid some money because I, because computer science interns normally get paid something like. <laughs> Sorry, a bit distracting. <laughs> but computer science interns normally get paid a pretty good amount of money, you know, for for being a college student, whether it's 15 or 20 bucks an hour, you know, somewhere around that range. There's a lot of computer science, like software development, interns, and stuff like that. But I wanted one that paid. So I was after that two-week internship, the two, the one at the IT company. I applied to everywhere I could again. Not, not. I applied to some of the same companies for maybe a different internship, or maybe the same one, or maybe followed up with some of them. But I also, you know, I went on all the. I just applied everywhere I could that that I could find a job offering even if they weren't a job offering. And then after after about a week or so since I since that about a week and a half, yeah, it was about a week and a half after I finished that two week internship, I got a call or no, I got an email from my student advisor. What happened was someone at NASA emailed my advisor you know, they they said something like, "I understand it's late because it was it, by this time it was already the end of May, so or maybe maybe the beginning of June, somewhere around there." It's like, "I understand this is late. We may have may not be able to get anybody in for this, but we're looking for an intern. Uh, can you send this out to your to your email list?" So she sent out to the undergraduate email list and maybe the graduate email list. I'm not sure. I checked my email at about midnight. And once I saw this, I'm like, this is my opportunity. I need to get this. Uh, so I, I put together a nice cover letter, a nice personalized cover letter. I matched my resume to fit their job description. 
because you know there's some things on there that I was familiar with but not not up you know I was kind of like down here compared to up here with like I should have been or maybe what they're looking for but I knew I could learn whatever I needed to learn on my own so I did that I sent that in and I also emailed the lady who emailed my advisor who I was talking about earlier and you know kind of gave them a kind of like a similar email to my cover letter paragraph but you know a little bit more custom and within a week I got a call from them they wanted me to come in straight off the bat for an interview so I set up the interview uh, when I went in it was mainly behavioral questions and I think they're just feeling out to see if I you know I've, if they wanted to work with me and I found out there that there's two other possible candidates for this internship so and I, I was I was there dressed to impress I had a suit on I bought new shoes uh, you know new belt to match the new shoes and everything I wanted this job really bad I didn't wasn't I just did whatever it, it took to, to impress them after that I sent a follow-up email the next day just saying it was very nice meeting meeting you all because there's three people I met with it was very nice meeting you all and you know what whatever I sent in the in the email I don't exactly remember just like a basic follow-up resume but it was it was very specific towards towards them and what we had talked about and, and things of that nature and about a week after that I got a phone call from Hampton Virginia which is where NASA Langley is is based and I was thinking I was, I was with a friend at the time and I look at him I'm like this is, this is Hampton and you know, you know how your your brain runs, through, you know, runs like a thousand miles a minute. It goes through like they're not gonna call me to to tell me I don't have the job. I mean, I've never heard of that. Maybe once or twice, but normally to say no, you don't have the job, you'd email. So when they called, I was very excited because I figured I got the job. Sure enough, I did. I started the following Monday. And now uh, it's towards the end of the summer. What is it? It's mid-August or something. I have three weeks left. I have three weeks left, and after that, I'm going to a co-op with Norfolk Southern. When I applied to all those jobs, I applied to a fall 2016 co-op for Norfolk Southern. And when I was working at NASA, I went through, they called me, and I went through the whole process there. So they called me, uh, no, they emailed me, I did an online assessment, passed through that, those mostly behavioral questions. I got a phone call after that saying that I had passed it and then they wanted to set up a phone interview. So we set up a phone interview. That was a lot of technical questions, a little bit behavioral. I was a little nervous over the phone. I like to be able to see people face to face set up over the phone so it was a little nerve wracking for me but it, it was fine. I made it through that and then I got the opportunity to do a, an in-person interview. I set that up and after that, I, w I went through that. I don't know how many other people there were. I know there was at least two. I made it through that and about a week or two after that, I got a phone call. They extended the offer to me. I accepted right on the spot. Don't give them a, don't, if, if you know you want this job, figure out you want this job before they offer it to you. So you can say, yes, I want it right then and there. It just, it just, makes things easier for them, for you, it looks better on you, makes, makes you seem decisive and whatnot, so, so make sure you have it in your head, like yes, if they call me, I'm gonna take it. And so I'm starting that in about three weeks, and I'm very excited to do that. So I really hope this helped you out. I hope the scenery was, was all right, and it was pretty nice, <laughs> with all these dinosaurs running around or being stagnant. And that's about it. Have a good one.